Hello guys, Son of Beast here. Game 3 is the time to see what goes on with the team that they are looking for. A chance to have another set to go for another attack or face off in each group. It's Calgary Flames and Blues ready for another take. Now the Calgary Flames and the Blues are all even tied up. Just, uh, just a bit off the uh, square, but it may be very on uh, a tough, uh, tough range that could definitely have it all if there is another chance out there for St. Louis to get by it. And they definitely do have too much to get right into, into each setup. And it's very, very convenient of what they are looking for. I don't know what to say, but this is definitely what everybody really wants. Not to, uh, not to be crazy out of, like, me, of what I did. <laughs> well, it's because of what I have done so far. Hmm. That's because if you have never heard of it before, there might be some uh, statistic setups that they might be looking for on the opposite side. Well, now you may know, it's time to see how well this goes. Let's take you to Enterprise Center to start the game of Game 3 in St. Louis. Western Conference collision. That is right. Centers are lined up, official ready to drop the puck. It's time now because this the is the, the is the central the conference in the zone, and there could be another chance to get started. The Flames will play to their own end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Just can't complete that pass. He's got the right play in mind. Just doesn't execute the final pass. And the goalie covers it up for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We're still scoreless. Lindholz won the draw here in the offensive zone. Misses! Get wow. The cage, make the goalie do something with it. The they gotta figure something out the there. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to side. Oh, what a blocker stop by Markstrom. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. The Blues move the puck into the defensive zone. Into the offensive end now. Here's the shot. That's turned away with the pad by Markstrom. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Flames win the draw. Slides the puck over. Benjapati's got it along the wing. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Quick feed to Tarasenko. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot! And there's the save. The Flames played along the boards. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Blues have it behind the net. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Thomas moves the puck. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. 
Moves it to Barbashev. Move to the middle. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker. What a stop by Markstrom. Here's a short pass to Barbashev. Hammers left from the point. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Monahan's got it across the line. Centering pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores right on the doorstep. He pounces off a rebound and puts it home. position that every coach loves the lead then you can use your bench then you can use all of the combinations calorie goal his first goal of the season scored by number 23 Sean Mahigan his first assist and that was Pittsburgh and, and by first bit time of the goal 5 20 42 remaining in the first period of Stanley Cup playoffs away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. St. Louis takes possession of the drop. Puck scooped up by close. Taken by Tarasenko. Slides it back to the blue line. Moves it to Thomas. Puck picked up by Nikola. Pass to Coleman. Along the right wing they enter the attacking area. Pass back to the point. Puck grabbed by Manchapani. Stopped by the goaltender. Bennington's able to make the save. And here comes the pushback. It's go time. You're going to do it. This happened just like Florida and Washington did. Five minute penalty for St. Louis Blues. Call it Partron. And five minute penalty for Calgary for fighting. Well, Lake Coleman, five minutes for fighting. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. 
Five-minute penalty for Calgary and Blue. Blake Coleman and Paul Coleman. Five minutes for fighting. Season scored by number 49, Herb Butcher. It's for Sissy by number 53, Herb Baroko. Time and a goal, 16.43 to go in the first period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Jumped out. 
Well, now that you're up front, you want to push the game. Make the opponent have to scramble around the ice. His Calgary goal is first goal of the season, scored by number 43, Cam Carpel. Time at a goal, 18 minutes, 33 seconds in the, in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Last minute remaining in the first period. That is the end of the first period. Two ones to score. Looks like the Flames are looking for somebody to heat the momentum up. We'll be right back after this break. Glad you joined with us. Second period's on. Handles the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. 
ball. That's blocked by Markstrom. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good position here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We've got a 2-1 game. Taken by Backlund. And now he tries to get it across to Coleman. And the intensity's starting to ramp up here after that hit. Looks to make a play over to Shen. And now he angles it across to Barbashev. Slides the puck over. And that goes wide. Now he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Turned aside with the blocker by Bennington. Out of play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's 2-1. St. Louis with a big defensive zone faceoff. And now he moves it to Saad. Can't connect on the pass. Pass is too long. And now he's over to Tube. Puts it on net and makes the save. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. St. Louis has it against the half wall. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. St. Louis has possession of it now. Denied by the goaltender. The Flames gain possession in their own end. Feeds the puck to Lewis. Lays into the body. St. Louis is on the attack. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pareko. Great puck check on the reach. And they'll dump it in. The Blues have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves into the slot. Misses high. You kick yourself in the tail rock and you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Quick pass to Thomas. Puck picked up by Rizichka. And he slides it quickly to Kachuk. Puts it on goal. Pennington's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang onto the puck. Centers are set. Face off ready to resume play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Calgary goal is first goal of the season scored by number 28, Elias Anderson. Assisted by number four, Ryan Anderson. Time of the goal. 7 14 seconds in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. St. Louis goal is first goal of the season, scored by number 14, Johnny Gold. He's has been 55. And by number, number 28, Eric Lindo. Time of the goal, 7 minutes, 7.33 to go in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Past the halfway mark 
in this period. Calgary's got a three-goal lead. The Flames take possession off the face-off. Sends the pass over. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Lucic is moving it ahead. Passes over to Coleman. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Pareko. Steps into the offensive end. Wrist shot from the slot. And that's broken up. A grab by Dube. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And now he moves it quickly to Rizicka. Picked up along the boards by Good Branson. Oh, what a stop! Bennington's able to angle that save over to the corner so there's no rebound. And that pass can't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Dubé. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. Saad's got the puck along the wing. Drives to the sweet spot. And he comes up with it. Zadorov's got the puck in his own zone. Battle along the boards. St. Louis will play the puck behind the net. Can't connect! Enters the offensive zone from the left. Shot! Whoa! He scores! Make that four straight! They seem stunned. Like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Calgary's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost the will in particular. Calgary goal. His first goal of the season scored by number 44, Charles Lewis. His first assist here by number 38, by Dobie. Tommy the goal, 13, 33 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Season scored by number 90, Ryan O'Reilly. This is by number 57, Cliff Berger. And by number 32, Todd Spoolman. Time and a goal, 13-43 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Take it along the wall by Backlund. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Lucic. Puck scooped up by Backlund. And he makes the save on that play. I thought you worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to me. Let's see what the official. Calgary penalty. 
Mother and Luca, you know, like two minutes for holding. It's time now for your St. Louis Blues power play. Two minutes for roughing. Got to the Luke Higgs for with the rough. Here's the holding. In dead second period. That is the end of the second period. Two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Five and three. It could be another one to go for the Blues to be stopped and crushed out. But we'll have to find out if there's a chance for the Flames to take the lead in position. It's coming up after the break. Now let's finish things off in the third period. Calgary penalty, President Anderson, two minutes for tripping. It's time now for St. Louis Power Play. Two minutes for, for tripping. Calgary Anderson for Calgary Flames. And two minutes for the third period. Backlund's 
The Blues win the draw. Only keeps it out with a great reactionary stop with the tie. And that one's broken up. Looking to get it out. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Panovich taking it from his own end. Here's a shot. They score! Well, they're not out of it just yet. No one ever was a glimmer of hope. Now gets a little brighter. They got a chance. He made a great, accurate pass and picks up the assist thanks to his tape to tape superstar ability. Blues goal! A second goal of a season scored by number 34, Ivan Turbussell! And by number 82, Clark Lourdes! Time of the goal, 4 minutes 33, 43 seconds in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Takes him down with authority. He was in control of this boat from the get-go and takes him down to finish it off. St. Louis penalty. Paul and Barrow for fighting. Five minutes. Calvary penalty. Matthew Tuckfield. Five minutes for fighting. They've got the debris all cleared up off the ice and both teams step in for the face-off. Two minutes for Calgary and Blues. Two minutes for fighting. In the third period. For five minutes. Calgary goal, his second goal of the season, scored by number 32, Elias Elton. Time of the goal, 6.42 remaining in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Good hit on the play. Calgary's got the puck. 
working the puck deep inside their own end. And now he angles it across to Lucic. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Moves the puck along the half wall. Taken by Dubé. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Passes the puck over to Fulk. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Puts it on the net. Denies him! The Flames have it now. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Manages to hang on. And that was stopped. Oh. Blues goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 42, Hunt Crew. This is by number 22, Ben Photoshop. Time of the goal, 9.33 seconds in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Carrying it ahead. 
Picked up along the boards by Shen. Let's it go from the slot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Perron's got it deep in the offensive end. And there's the save. Calgary's moving it up the ice. Now a quick pass to Kachuk. Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the face off and try and attack again. Calgary's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. Receives the pass. Puck picked up by Kachuk. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lindholm. The Blues look to start the transition game. From the right side and up the middle. Puck grabbed by Hannafin. Here's a short pass to Goudreau. Into the attacking area from the left side. That's on the stick. Takes the feed. The Blues are on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Hannafin. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Lindholm. Misses a golden opportunity there. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Couldn't complete the pass. St. Louis needs a hold of the puck against the boards. Here's a chance. Makes the save. The Flames will play from the defensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. From the point, looks to make something happen. Gains control the puck here on the line. Scores! His second of the night! When you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it can be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first thought is, I can get three. I know I can. Date for the next one. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Calgary's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. The Blues take it along the wall. Keeps position on the play. Here they come on the attack. Shot. Close save. Busso's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, JT needed a cover there. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Kachuk's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of this game. I've been impressed with his performance. Scooped up along the wall by Falk. Slides the puck over to Crew. Drives to the paint! The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Stop by the goaltender. Quick feed to Lucic. Nearing the final minute of the third. Sends it in on the attack. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Lucic. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves into the slot. Great hand out by the goaltender, poking it away. His reflexes on display tonight. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Battle along the boards. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Sends it over to Shen. And the coach is going with a desperation play here. Calling for the goaltender, looking for the extra attacker on the ice. Markstrom's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Goalie on the bench and the extra attackers out for a much needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face off. St. Louis wins the draw. Here's a short pass to Shen. Gets in front of it. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. They get the win, but I'm not exactly sure the better team won this one tonight. They chased the puck most of the night. The, the lack of possession time usually means you're not going to win, but tonight they put together enough to pull out the W. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Samalski. Thanks for joining us tonight. Well, it looks like someone just passed out. Anyway, I will finish things off here as we'll conclude the game. Your final score is 8-6. Calgary. 
leading the series 3-1 in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here are your three star players of the game. Number three, we have is Ivan Barbashev. Two goals and one assist. Awesome tape-to-tape -tape skills. He now has it with his coverage on the board. Number two, we have is Noah Hannafin. Four assists and six hits. Very not great job here for Calgary. And they got a lot of pressure out there. And for your number one take, it goes to the Calgary Flames, Ramis Anderson. Four assists and four hits. So, what a great game here so far. As Canada is just trying to work their way into the second round. But, we'll see what happens if there's a chance for them to keep an eye on. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And stay tuned for the next game as we will have the Rangers and Penguins playing at PPG Paints Arena. Then the Bolts against the Maple Leafs at Amalia Arena in Tampa Bay. Then the Western Conference is the Wilds and the Predators at Bridgestone Arena. And finally, Alice, the Dallas of Stars and Colorado Avalanche at American Airlines Center. So, thank you all for watching. And make sure to subscribe to my channel because we're going to have tons of more updates here of the Stanley Cup playoffs of each video. So... Thank you all for watching once again. Peace out, everyone. For as well as the Stanley Cup playoff of NHL 22 Dial. I hope you all have a wonderful night and good night in St. Louis. Get home safe, fellas. Enjoy your evening.